right now in high definition, the Fox 19 Morning News. Good morning, it's 8 o'clock. We're going to do a little cooking for Valentine's Day. Nice, easy, romantic meal you can make with your sweetie at home, not spend a whole boatload of cash. That's right, so make sure you stick around for that. It's 820. A study says Americans are spending more on Valentine's Day this year, but you can actually save some money by having an intimate dinner at home. That's right. Executive chef Robert Giesman of the Kenwood by Senior Star is making it easy for us. He's a graduate of the CIA, first of all. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank welcome you to having. Cincinnati. And secondly, let me tell you something. I know you're not from around here, so you don't know this, but <laughs> you're making Sheila very happy because she loves crab cakes. I know. It's like an early Valentine's Day present. <laughs> yeah. I, I just went to the CIA. I actually am from... from oh, awesome. Well, welcome back. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank welcome you. back. So now what are we doing? Well, first we're going to make the crab cakes. First, okay. We're going to start off with the crab meat. Uh-huh. Uh, drain it off a little bit, which is a jumbo lump. That kind of the Cadillac of crab meats. Ah, oh, yeah. I brought a selection of other crab meats that you can use. So after draining that off, we're going to put it into a mixing bowl. Okay. And we're going to be gentle with it. Basically, we're going to fold in all the ingredients into there at one time. Because you don't want to uh, mess that up. Correct. Yeah, correct. Okay. The whole key is is the mixing of it, not over mixing. It. Okay. So first, we got a little bit of sour cream. Love it. A little mayonnaise. One egg. Some red. And green pepper. Oh. A little bit of red onion and some spices. It consists of mustard, a little garlic, salt, pepper, and a little bit of Old Bay. Old Dry Bay. Mustard. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, Old Bay. Bay. Absolutely. Okay. Once that's all mixed, we're going to simply just pour it over, meat, over top of the crab meat. Okay. Very nice. Let's keep it simple. A little bit of panko breading, which are oriental breadcrumbs. Yeah, you can and find that in the Japanese section. Yes. A little bit of lemon juice, half of a lemon, a little Tabasco. A little Worcestershire for a little bit more flavor. <laughs> okay. And then simply just, going on there's a lot going on with it, and basically just mix it very simply, mix it. Then you want to let it set a little bit before you actually work with it. All right. So okay. what I did is I pre-molded some. Got these little heart-shaped molds. Yeah, that's that great idea. Yeah, that is a great idea. Now, and what then, would you serve with this, Well, Robert? we're going to put it over some mixed greens. Okay. okay. I got a, a balsamic glaze and a red pepper coulis, which sure. is a pureed red pepper sauce oh, that's going to wow. be over top of nice. that. Nice. Do you then, have any other tips for people who maybe want to stay oh, in yes. for Valentine's yes. Day and make something nice like this heart-shaped uh, crab cake? some steak with it, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. little piece of petite filet. Oh, yeah, sure. Just flame up a little bit. You get the, wow. a little bit of triple set there. <laughs> <laughs> and then... So we're just going to take that now, crab how long cake. do you cook it on both sides? That's about five minutes on each side. You okay. can finish it off in an oven, about 350 degrees. Okay. Isn't that then beautiful? A little bit of the sauce. And your red pepper coolie. Very just nice. Just drizzle it on there. Your so what's it like um, being the chef at the Senior Star? Oh, it's great. New great. place the, here in Cincinnati. New place, new concept, if you yeah. would. Upscale retirement community. Mm -hmm. We have assisted living, uh, skilled nursing, and memory care there, along yeah. with the independent living, which is known as the residences of the Kenwood. And the, well, the so. residents eat like this? Yes. That's awesome. Yes. I know. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start that's, making that's my plans right now. Thank you very yeah. much. So. Robert, we're going to try this, and we'll let uh, you know that we have the recipe for this at our website, fox19.com, so you can make it for your sweetie for Valentine's. And welcome back home. All right, thanks mm -hmm. for having me. Where'd you go to high school? Norwood. Very nice. That's good, right? My you win. Happy right, Valentine's thank Day. Happy thank Valentine's you, Robert. Good thank to you. see you. We have much more <laughs> straight ahead on the Fox 19 Morning News.